Well, depends on who you believe, but President Biden's electric vehicle push may lead the industry to collapse. Scott Bolton scoffed at that, but I'm just reading what the Wall Street Journal said, man. Okay, come on. They write, it's ironic to say the least that the U.S. is seeking to imitate China's economic model at the moment that its industrial policy fractures. Around 400 EV companies have failed in China. Subsidies invested in electric cars by the Chinese government are creating an inflated supply. Meanwhile, a surplus of electric vehicles is also building in the United States among American car dealers. There's a backlog now sitting at more than 100 days supply, not to mention, or I should say despite, massive government subsidies. Scott, you don't, I can't believe it you don't have an EV. How do you know I don't have an EV? Because you told me. You just blew his cover. I'm thinking about getting one. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh -huh. They're not very loud like my current car, but in any event, you know, listen, their climate change is real. And electric vehicles help us reduce our carbon footprint. That's a fact. Can you convince the American people that that makes sense when they have so many alternative gas alternatives and great cars to drive? It doesn't appear to be working based on that report, but we cannot deny that we've got to do our part in reducing this carbon footprint, and EV, um, electric vehicles, certainly help that. Well, I love calling them coal-fired cars, because that's what they actually are. We still get 66% of our electricity from coal, so we're just switching mm -hmm. to a different fossil fuel. However, I will say that anytime you have any industry that's subsidized by the government, it's bound to collapse, especially when you have an alternative that is so much cheaper. Actually, it was one of the original lawyers that worked to get that federal subsidy for Tesla. And I can tell you that mm -hmm. it, it, it's taken root. Like, there are certain areas of the country where EVs make so much sense. Mm -hmm. You know, there are parts of the country where it just doesn't. And I think that's what you're going to see. Everything we can do to add to our energy independence is important for yep. us. We should literally be taken advantage of every single natural resource and man-made resource that we can to get off of any sort of international independence on others. So long as it doesn't hurt our chances to reduce our carbon footprint. Listen, you, you and your fossil-fueled, uh, mm -hmm. coal-fired cars, go at it. No, but, well, <laughs> but there's, also, there's also an issue of our electricity grid in the nation's right. Electricity. Everyone's like mm -hmm. talking about EVs, and I think it's a good thing, and I think it is the future, but obviously there's going to be some stumbling. But, but despite the passage of the infrastructure bill, we have some major work to do there. We do, okay. especially in California, where so many of us have EVs. I love driving Teslas. Oh, you have an, oh, you have an EV in California? I don't, but yeah, I have okay. a lot of friends that do, and I've thought about doing it. And she's it, so kind to be so designated. Much sense. <laughs> it makes so much sense there <laughs> until we have rolling blackouts, which happens all the time. Yeah. So we have a lot of other issues to consider. I just think it's going to be really difficult for anything to get an uptick in market, you know, just expansion without a government subsidy right. at this point. Well, yeah, and there's huge government subsidies and still right. massive inventories of EVs. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.